What's up, guys? Um, I just got done shooting uh, a few guns. This is my uh, the piston for my uh, Envolt Carrier Group for the uh, uh, it's Arsenal SGL 21. I didn't shoot, but a couple mags through it. Uh, anyway, I uh, thought it'd be interesting to do a video, or at least helpful to some people. A lot of people will use nothing but um, nylon brushes for their guns. And I used to be the same way until, you know, cleaning the AK, I think my original Wasser, not the newest, uh, not the Arsenal, I noticed that, um, that the nylon brush didn't remove a lot of uh, carbon buildup. And see, the reason why people use a nylon brush instead of a uh, um, brass brush or steel brush is uh, the uh, brass is more abrasive. It's not going to hurt the metal because brass is softer. As you'll see, the brass will rub off on the uh, on the steel. So, but people use the nylon because it won't rub off. You know, it's the least abrasive, but hard enough to do the job in most cases. You don't want to use steel against steel. Uh, I think that's just a ba bad all around. Brass will do anything you need to do, and it's softer. But when it comes to finishes, the brass br brass brush can kind of, you know, do premature wear and tear on the finish. But anyway, it's kind of might be hard to see because my camera's not HD or whatever. But uh, see the I done sprayed it with CLP by the way. See a lot of this stuff. It wasn't much carbon build up on it anyway. You know, see the nylon brush will work. Right here. Small patches. See, there isn't much on here. Nylon brush would work for the most part of this, but there is carbon buildup still here that the nylon brush won't remove. I don't know if you could see this, but there's still carbon buildup. I say I, I haven't even began cleaning the gun yet. I just figured I'd get this video out of the way. I might do the other side good. But uh, anyway, brass brush, you know. I need to get a new brush. This one's about worn out. Get some of these bristles back. Get some old residue off of it. Anyway, and trust me, you could scrub with this. It's not going to get that uh, stuff off. I've tried that extra stuff. Now, I'm not scrubbing hard, I'm just lightly scrubbing. And you see, it removes a lot more. Now, if this was, I guess it would be better if I showed a video if it were hard use. But if this was a video of, uh, of after heavy use, you know, if I would have fire a couple hundred rounds through it this nylon brush really wouldn't have done much I would have had to bring out the brass brush that's why it's not taking so long because uh, I kept it pretty clean you know I used a brass brush on it because this deep carbon stuff the stuff that I guess got real hot nylon brush ain't gonna cut it you need something a little bit more stouter and this the reason why I'm showing this it's the uh, same way with the barrel or any part that's got carbon on it. Um, parts that are going to be affected by a lot of carbon are going to need to be uh, brass brushed. You see, even with that, there's still a little bit of carbon on there, but it would have never gotten... I could, I'm definitely going to take more off, but uh, yeah, nylon brush definitely wouldn't have done that. Alright guys, thanks for watching.